Hello Aggie fans, welcome to another edition of the Utah State Coaches Corner. We're joined by head volleyball coach Rob Nielsen. Rob, second time on the show, welcome back. Thank you, great to be here. Yeah, congratulations, your team made NCAA tournament, uh, fifth time in program history. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what does that mean to you, your team, and the program? Yeah, that's our benchmark. You know, that's what we're going for every year to make runs in the NCAA tournament. Uh, our goal from the beginning of this year was to be playing in December, and so we're excited to uh, to be here. Uh, there's a lot of great history with this program, back to national championships in the uh, you know early '80s, and um, and so we're excited to kind of step into that role and uh, and and keep growing. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean. A lot of success, um, not only making it back to the NCAA tournament, but back-to-back -back Mountain West champions. So of course, last year, co-regular season champions. This year, winning the Mountain West tournament. Um, you know, what does that what does that feel like? Uh, this group has worked so hard, right? It's just an unbelievable team. It's just an unbelievable uh, group of women. Uh, and so it's really gratifying to see, you know, their hard work and their efforts pay off in uh in you know different ways and uh, just the run we put together last week was just a really special week of volleyball and uh it doesn't come without the sacrifice and effort of uh, our team members you know our entire team and uh it's it was a, an amazing thing to be a part of back up just a little bit at the end of the regular season um didn't end quite the way we thought that it would um losses to new mexico Lost to Air Force. Tell us about that mindset shift, especially heading into that tournament, facing New Mexico, a team you just lost to, you know, a few days prior. Uh, we went into New Mexico and they were fighting for their lives. Uh, and so we got a taste of what playoff volleyball was going to be like. Uh, and, and to be honest, we weren't prepared uh, to put up the fight that uh, New Mexico did at home and then Air Force did on their senior night. Uh, they played great volleyball matches. And I think that was a, a, you know, an eye-opener for us. Okay, this is what it's going to take. And, and uh, we try not to make too much of those matches. You know, sometimes that can be a, a loss of confidence or some crisis that you can go through as you try and uh, you know, add weight to these matches that uh, weren't super meaningful in our in our season to beat new mexico in that first round right a team that we were zero and two against in the regular season um, our team just competed at an incredibly high level and it was uh yeah it was a lot of fun to be a part of yeah let's relive that a little bit so not only did you beat them swept new mexico swept unlv who was top seeded then you beat san jose state you know three sets to one i mean how much excitement was there you know day to day um, how did you keep the energy up? How did you guys stay focused? Yeah, those uh, you mentioned those three teams. We were one in five against them in the regular season. And so just, I don't know, maybe a lesson that I pull out of this is, man, we just, you have to take the long view in seasons. And, uh, you know, there's so many frustrations and so it's such a grind throughout the season. And, you know, so many ups and downs that you go through, but we're building, right? We're building for something special at the end of the year. And that was our message throughout the entire year. Everything that we want is still here and still out in front of us. Um, and, and then to, right, to sweep those teams, New Mexico, obviously UNLV, uh, they had an unbelievable season coming off a 17 match winning streak where they'd only lost uh, 10 sets in uh, in those 17 matches uh, and for us to beat him 3-0 we we pressured him in a lot of uh, in a lot of specific ways and our team just did an unbelievable job executing uh, and then we get into this final and we've played two great matches of volleyball and I told the team I've been around a ton of volleyball uh, the level that we played at, I mean, I'm, I'm, maybe I've never seen a team play at the top end of their ability for so long under such pressure. Uh, you know, I was a little nervous going into that final. We'd played so well for two days and, uh, you know, you lose a tight match and just the way our, our players responded uh, in those last three sets, um, just a credit to them and their resilience and their toughness. Um, it was it was pretty special. Fun to watch, fun to you know see from Logan as you guys competed. Um, let's dive into you know a few of the players. We had four Aggies end up on the All Conference team. Um, you know we had Kennedy, Adna, Shelby, and Tatum. I mean four of the eight uh, All Tournament team were were from our squad. So um, you know what what do those players mean in those matches? You know how did they? you know, really rise to that occasion and, you know, what are we looking forward to seeing them from them in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, it, we went through the stats yesterday and in that tournament match, uh, in those tournament matches, every single player on our team uh, exceeded their conference play 
statistics quite dramatically. So even players that didn't make the all-conference team, Mirta uh, had a great attacking match, a great a blocking tournament. Uh, Kylie Stokes was just shutting everybody down. Jordy might have been the best libero in the tournament in terms of keeping us in system. Uh, and then our setters, our offense ran at uh, you know a, a much higher clip than we had throughout conference play because of the job that our setters did. Uh, and then you talk about the four that made the all-conference team. Uh, Adna is just a monster on the right, just this uh, huge arm. Um, coming back from injury, just her story of, of resilience and, and fighting back and fighting through struggles for, that she's gone through you know, for the last year and a half has been remarkable. Uh, Kennedy Boyd has just been a mainstay. You know, she's our captain, she's our leader. Uh, she's a voice for so many of her teammates and just plays at such an incredibly high level. Uh, she's just been a special addition to our program. Tatum's been here with us from the beginning and uh, you know, just has played at an incredibly high clip. Uh, we were looking back at her freshman year and her stats and she's just gotten better and better and better. And uh, she's flying around the gym and, and hitting the ball hard. and. Uh, and had a great tournament passing, which was uh, huge for her. And then Shelby was obviously MVP and just had a great tournament offensively. Uh, you know, almost doubled her stats from what she had, where she had been in conference. And, uh, you know, carried us in a lot of ways. And when we're firing on all cylinders at, at pins, man, we're, we're tough. We're tough to beat. And we showed it this week. You know, shift gears a little bit, focus on Arkansas. You have them coming up. Um, a little bit of familiarity there, right? We faced them last year. Both squads still fairly similar. Um, their head coach spent some time at BYU. You guys are pretty familiar with each other. Um, you know, tell us about, you know, what does that look like facing Arkansas? Yeah, like you said, I'm, I'm really good friends with Jason Watson. Uh, he obviously does a phenomenal job, was SEC coach of the year, uh, last year or the year before, I, I'm, I can't quite recall, but, um, he, uh, you know, that's just a well-trained team. Um, and uh, they're not the most physical team in the SEC, but they, they win because they play great volleyball. And uh, that's been kind of our MO as well, right? We haven't been the most physical team in the Mountain West, uh, but we have great volleyball players on our team that understand the systems and, and how they need to play. A tested team coming out of the SEC in Arkansas. Um, but as you mentioned, we've played them before, pretty much the same team. We lost them in five at a preseason tournament. You know, obviously a year and a half removed. Both teams are, are, are much improved from where we were a year and a half ago. Um, but I think that familiarity, uh, you know, is, is really good for our players. Um, it just gives them a sense of, okay, here's, here's, we know what the challenge is for the most part. And, uh, and now we have, you know, the opportunity to rise to that challenge. And so we're, we're really excited. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Um, let's look at, you know, kind of the tournament as a whole. I mean, you've got a national championship that you're potentially competing for. How do you keep, you know, your team focused on, you know, what's at hand? How do they stay focused on Arkansas and not get caught up in that, that full moment of competing for a national championship? Yeah, um, you know, there's a lot of great teams and a lot of great moments that uh, have to happen before, right, we can start thinking about uh, uh, winning a national championship. And so I think that was, you know, that's was one of our talking points in the tournament. It's, it's not about winning a match or what could possibly happen. It's about this point in hand. And, and volleyball is fun like that because each point has a beginning with the ref's whistle and an end with the ref's whistle, ref's whistle a little bit of celebration in between. Uh, and so each point kind of has a story and life of its own. And that's how we want to live it. Just, okay, stay in the moment, compete as hard as we can. And, uh, you know, this can be a special run and a special journey for this group. I don't know where it's going to end, um, but I love our chances if we can uh, stay dialed in and stay in the moment. That's awesome. I mean, we're, we're all excited to, to watch how this goes. Um, I mean, like you said, one point at a time, right? And I think we can all take a little bit from that. So, Aggie fans, uh, be sure to tune in. Watch Utah State Volleyball as they compete against Arkansas on Friday, December 2nd at 5 p.m. on ESPN+.